It's Whitney, bitch. What up, you guys? So it's the time y'all have been waiting for. I've been waiting just as much. It's time for the Whitney V3 review haul. That's right, she did it again. So I'm coming at you with a full in-depth review and, oh my God, an unboxing. I did not peek in here at all. This tape was already here, so I'm assuming somebody else dug into it somewhere. How dare they? If my voice sounds a little bit different in this video, it's because I just got back from my besties bachelorette party. So your girl got a little bit turned up, not gonna lie. I think I might've been screaming, I'm assuming. I don't know what went down. So definitely subscribe, follow me on Instagram so I can keep you all in the know this week for the launch. It's going to be this Thursday, September 16th at 2 p.m. EST. You're not gonna miss out on this one, are you? A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and putting together this package. Y'all are gonna make me cry for real. <laughs> oh my God. Is this Christmas day or what? This is better than Christmas. <laughs> oh. oh! A scrunchie fell out. This old thing, you just gonna get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, damn, okay. Even the scrunchies luxurious off the bat. I can't wait to see what the rest has in store. So the box says, shaped by progress. Gymshark times Whitney Simmons. Okay, so Bay's gonna hold this box up for oh. you. Use those strong arms like I know you uh, can, please. Hurry up. Come on, now you tilt it on an angle uh, so my girls can see what's going on here. Uh. <laughs> This is, oh. Did you need to put it down? Yeah. The first thing that came popping out was this beautiful pollen color. So there's gonna be two different sports bras in this collection. This one is the mesh racer back. It's got a twist knot front and a really nice low cut V-neck. The other sports bra in this collection is gonna be more of a crop top, so a little more coverage. I don't see any bra pads in these actually, but it is double layered. There's actually two pieces to this, so I don't even think I'm gonna need a bra pad in here, and that'd be really nice so I don't have to mess around with those. It's very, very lightweight, and I can only imagine how freaking sexy this is just gonna fit. Oh, I just know it. Next, we have the same bra, but in coral blue, yet another muted color. This is so relaxing just to look at. They did change the logo on this V3 collection. I'm actually wearing the V2 right now in that chocolate brown last year. Instead of the script logo in gold, it is now back to the plated logo right across. I actually really love the plated logo. This is the color I was really excited about when I first heard about her collection launching. It's actually the mink. This is perfect for fall time. You got that really just muted tan brown color, absolutely neutral AF. Completely a mix and match heaven nation. Does that even make sense? I don't really know, but I love this color mink. This one I'm excited for. Oh my God, what's this? <laughs> my throat. Oh, the five minute journal. Oh my God, Gymshark times Whitney Simmons. <gasps> Tools to positively change your life. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God, what the frig else do we? <gasps> Blot and glow kit retouches. Oh my God, this is from Rare Beauty. I freaking love Rare Beauty. If you guys follow me, you know I love Rare Beauty. So they hooked me up with some blotting powder, y'all. Another Rare Beauty, we have a lip souffle in the color Fearless. So they just hooked me up with a lip souffle that I'm about to put on right freaking now while I do this unboxing. It's velvety as hell. Mm, I'm getting so excited for fall, fall vibes. Ooh, that's such a pretty color. Are you joking me? I know that Whitney likes Rare Beauty, so I'm not surprised to see some Rare Beauty in this. You could tell this entire unboxing, this whole collection is her. And honestly, like a huge shout out to whoever packed up this box right here. You are the real MVP, you. So this color she brought back from last year, the unbleached color. It's kind of like an off white, white. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we got some shorts. These are their cycling shorts. These are like the V2 that I'm wearing right now. So she definitely brought back this look, the design, the same scrunch. <gasps> we have the dandelion brown. It is most definitely a different color than her brown last year. I'm gonna get a bunch of questions. This brown last year and this one, totally different. 
The Dandelion Brown has way more of a warmer, lighter tone. So I have a pair of the full length leggings. The shorts you just saw, but just full length version in the mink color. Now these are the different style of leggings that are also gonna be launched. The ones you just saw that kind of mimic the V2 from last year. And then these ones, these are called the mesh legging. This legging has a way more seam action going around, a lot more of a breakup, and you have the mesh paneling as well wrapping around the leg. So it gives you a little more ventilation when you work out. Okay guys, so we have an oversized, oh my God, I didn't know that's what it looked like. That is so beautiful on the back. It says it's a beautiful day to be. And then in a separate different color, it looks like script paint where it says alive. This is beautiful. This is her unbleached color. So we also have another one. This is the mesh in the color pollen. Coral blue mesh as well. We are looking at the mesh shorts. These are hot. There's way more breakup on the mesh shorts than the actual mesh leggings. You can see where it goes all the way around. I love that her text and the Gymshark logo kind of blend in with the color of the shorts. These shorts still have the scrunch bomb. I have to let it out there. That's gonna be like the main question. Every single legging short you see right now has had that scrunch bomb. Yes, so we got another mesh short in that really pretty pollen color. We have the mesh legging in dandelion brown. We also have another mesh short. This is the peony pink. I hope I said it right. Peony? Peony? This looks like a starburst pink color. Starburst anybody? You know the pink? They're the best ones. Just saying. I also have the mesh in the peony pink too. The whole full length legging here. Damn. All right guys, I spy with my little eye some joggers and some crops. Let's finish out the active sets first. Oh. So dandelion brown, these are the crops, okay? So you got the mesh sports bra with the little tie knot front, really cute and sexy. The other sports bra that's gonna be available are the more coverage, kind of coming down below the rib cage a little bit, more of a crop top kind of look. But yet, yeah, it looks like she still kept the sexy vibes going on because it looks a little low cut. None of these bras are adjustable and they are both racer back. So they're simple and straightforward, but they still have such beautiful little details on them. I also have it in the signature black that's gonna be available too. The crop top in the eucalyptus color as well. And a crop top in the peony pink. I have just gotta say, all right, that Whitney's coming out with accessories and the scrunchies are one of them. So I saw that they're coming out with more monotone, like um, bleached black and gray, kind of matching the darker pieces. But I opted out for the lighter color scrunchies because I love the light colors. How stinking cute. I'm putting all three on my wrist. Oh my God. So here's the athleisure part, the rest day. Woo, so these are her unbleached joggers. Oh my. Oh, how freaking cute. You actually have It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive sewn right into these sweatpants on the upper part of the bum. So whereas her slogan was printed on the rest, this one is actually very faintly small. It's barely there, but it's there embroidered on these, which gives that extra luxurious look in my opinion. Also got the joggers in the color mink. So she also has to go with these sets, oversized crew sweaters. Oh my God, I love it. You have the drop shoulders, giving the extra slouchy look. You also have the really pretty, almost like shiny white Gymshark face logo embroidered, which I believe everything should be embroidered when it's on sweats. Oh my God, this is the most comfortable looking robe I've ever seen, dude. And the most luxurious looking. I've never owned anything this nice, <laughs> seriously. So I have the mink. What a nice throw over, oh my God. It goes so long that it's like just the coziest thing to throw over anything. I also have it in the unbleached color as well. I had to get the full sets. <laughs> my God. Have mercy, have, oh have mer mercy. Mercy, oh, this duffel, I'm gonna dead ass cry. This is such a beautiful duffel. You guys, if you're considering getting any of her accessories, the answer is yes, you must. Oh, so we have the, oh, it's such a silky bottom. Hold on, 
Wow, that's so soft. This feels like powder and velvet combined. You have the velvety looking straps. They shine, yes they do. You're gonna glam it up at the gym. Check this out though, her old sports bra. You remember this look? Yeah, I'm wearing it right now, motherfucker. Look at it right there. You have a mesh pocket right here. Still got that gold Whitney logo as well. You also have another mesh pocket in front that you can unzip right here. And again, look at it. You have the gripped It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive. All the little details in this collection. So let's open this fish up, shall we? Come on now, girl. Let's get feisty together. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. So we got a heavy duty strap that comes with this. First things first, this is a really deep bag. This runs deep, man. You have a bunch of compartments in here. You have a zipper compartment. Yeah, overall, such a beautiful, stunning bag. I literally can't get over that. Okay guys, so I wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison. These are the two leggings that are gonna be available for this launch. We are looking at the regular high-waisted. This one's similar to the Whitney Simmons V2. And then we're looking at the mesh leggings over here. So right off the bat, they have the same size band. The logo placement is different. So the high-waisted is on the left and the mesh is right in the middle centered. They're both high-waisted, don't get it twisted, but this one's labeled as just the high-waisted original, while this one is that new mesh paneling legging. So as you can see, the high-waisted legging has a double seam paneling in the front, whereas the new mesh here only has the one seam in the front. Everything else panning down is identical. You have the same size gusset, same design of the gusset as well. So here's where it gets a little bit different. The high-waisted is very, very much just plain, simple, straightforward of a legging in terms of the aesthetic here. The mesh has the paneling breakup. This is a full see-through mesh in the front. So it's got that diagonal kind of curve across the leg. This is what makes it more of a ventilated workout piece. And in terms of the length, they are identical. So both leggings are the same exact length, which is a 25 inch inseam. All right guys, now turning the leggings over, here's the full back, the band here, right here on the high-waisted, the top seam swoops down, as you can see, kind of accentuating the curves a little more. So we have a V seam here on the high-waisted. Right here, the top seam is just straight across on the mesh, but you do have the V seam beneath here on the mesh. So whereas the high-waisted has a double V seam, the mesh has a straight across and underneath a V seam. The mesh legging has a shark face logo right here located on the center back. And the high-waisted has no logo on the back. All right, girl, this is the main attraction right here, the scrunch bums. So they got the identical type of scrunch, okay? That really thin, elastic. This is such a natural looking scrunch bum. This is why I love this collection. So identical in this area. The mesh has a ton more seams. So right underneath the booty, you have a booty contour seam directly underneath the glutes. You also have that wraparound mesh that moves to the back of the leg straight across. Again, this is like 100% see-through mesh right here on the bottom. So for the ankles, we have the logo here on the high-waisted, whereas it wasn't up on the band, they put it on the ankle area. And the mesh, whereas they had it on the band, has nothing on the ankle area. So a little bit different logos. Okay, let's take a look at the shorts. So we have the high-waisted, the cycling, just like the regular high-waisted leggings, this is their short version. And then we have the matching shorts that go with the mesh leggings. Straight up off the bat, same idea. Logo placement to the left. The mesh has the logo placement in the middle. The bands are definitely different. This one's more straight across, where the mesh has more of a hexagonal shape in the front here, kind of a little more low cut. You have the double seam breakup around the emblem in the middle and you also have on the mesh, it's a beautiful day to be alive written all around. This does not have the double seam. It just kind of wraps around right here, stops right at the mesh lining here. And as you guys can see, I would say the cycling shorts are about an inch and a half to two inches longer than the mesh shorts. Not a huge difference, but enough to mention. Okay, so over on the back of the shorts, same idea as the leggings. You have the logo right here, the shark face, 
whereas you have on the mesh the entire scripted out phrase. You do not have these on the leggings. They're unique to the mesh shorts. The high-waisted shorts are identical to the leggings, so they both have It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive written in the back of the band here. Okay, so there's gonna be two tops available in this collection. We have the regular mesh sports bra right here and more of a crop top style. There's not gonna be any long sleeves other than the athleisure wear. So no matching sportswear long sleeves like they did in the V2. So let's start with the mesh. The mesh has a tie front. It's also double layered. You have some seam action going on through here, a lot of mesh breakup. So this is a very ventilating piece, just like the shorts and leggings. There's no bra padding in here, but there are inserts. So you can put your own in here if you feel like you need it, but the double layering really does help to kind of conceal those nips a little bit. Both of the logos are right in the middle. You can clearly see that the crop top has a lot more coverage down here by about a good three inches. This has a nice thick elastic band, whereas the crop top doesn't have anything. It's just kind of material that just lays over your skin here. The crop top has the invisible shark face logo on the left hand side. You also have that geometric seam shape right in the front here that matches these shorts, that band that kind of has the same similar shape to it. They're both racer back style. The mesh obviously has this full on breathable, look at how you can literally see my fingers through the back here. So this is a very, very breathable backing. You have the shark face logo right here in the center. You do not have the shark face logo on the back of the crop top. You had that on the front. Both of these are not adjustable whatsoever. You still have a really thin backing here to allow a lot of breathability. The big thing with the crop top is the fact that the backing has more of a curved hem, so it comes up a little more on the backside, a little sexiness right here. All right, guys, so let the try on begin. I'm wearing the pollen yellow right now. This is the mesh sports bra and shorts. Okay, so this is my size small, true size. I do feel like everything for the most part is super true to size. I would say though, I can feel there's a little extra room here. It's not as compressive up here as the V2 sports bra was. That sports bra like really tucked my stuff up. This, there's a little like less support in my opinion. I think you could size down, especially if you're in between sizes, like I could get away with an extra small and it would fit more like the V2 where it felt a little more supportive. As far as the shorts go, super true to size. They do feel like the V2, you know, they, feel, they have that same exact type of fit. If you're new to the Whitney collection and this is the first time you're thinking about buying, if you were unaware of what it fits or feels like, I would say it's most similar to the training collection. So if you've ever tried those leggings, that's probably what I would relate it to. Very similar in terms of fit and material, but the Whitney has that glorious scrunch butt, my favorite scrunch out of all of Gymshark because it's just so natural looking on the bum, all right? I do feel it cinching in a little bit, but not necessarily digging where it's giving me a quad muffin. So if you're in between sizes for the shorts, I would probably suggest sizing down because it's so stretchy. But keep in mind, if you do size down, then maybe it could dig a little bit more in. But overall shorts are very true to size. I'm really liking the length here. I'm very comfortable with this. It's not overly short, not too long. It's perfect. There's no band gaping whatsoever. I feel really held in. Overall, I'd give this full set a moderate compression. The pollen is about 90% squat proof, so I wouldn't give it the full 100. It's surprisingly good for this light of a yellow, but yeah, so about 90% squat proof on these. If you look closely, this mesh goes all the way up. I'm wearing black undies over here, so you can see them. These are the high cut. You can see through them. I actually wore these without underwear and it did give me a camel toe, but the second I put on my seamless underwear, I did not, there's nothing, nothing going on here. So keep that in mind to my free ball and babes. So it's kind of a conundrum, like if you don't wear underwear, you might get a camel toe, but if you do, you might see it through the mesh. So my best advice is if you're gonna wear underwear, just kind of get like a nude tone, a flesh colored tone to go through some seamless, preferably a higher cut so it's not straight across here. It's just more sitting on your hips here. So if I pull these up and allow the underwear to sit on the hips, I'm actually wearing Gymshark 
underwear. <laughs> then you won't see it as much. So if you get a flesh tone, you should be good to go. Yeah, guys, I'd probably say that each of these are, for the most part, pretty squat proof. I think the pink and yellow are the only ones that might be more 90, 95% squat proof, but all the darker colors are pretty good to go. Okay, guys, so here's the set with the other top, their crop top. So this is definitely too big for me. Um, it's doable, but I really should have sized down. So if I could do it all over again for both sports bras, I would have sized down to an extra small. There's a little extra room here, and I feel like with the bra pads, a little bit of maybe slight bunching here, we could have done good with an extra small. So definitely keep that in mind. My measurements are below, so if we have similar measurements, girl, then maybe size down to an extra small. But I just love how this pairs with the mesh shorts. I think it just flows so beautifully. The line seams just kind of like flow down. It looks like it's just meant to be. I also think it's really, really sexy, right at the cleavage, okay? The mesh was good, but the crop actually has like, damn, some booby action going on. Me with my semi-short torso, this is definitely covering me completely. Like this could look like a onesie from far away. If you have a longer torso, which you probably do, then you might see a little bit of stomach here. But for me, this crop is almost like a midi crop. So it's almost all the way down. When I lift my arms, yeah, there's a little bit of tummy showing, nothing crazy, but you can feel the support because you have bra pads in here. Definitely size down, then this thing would be a supportive baby. Okay guys, so I'm pairing the eucalyptus crop with the mink cycling shorts. So I love the cycling shorts, you know I like my cycling. The mesh are beautiful, but I always tend to like a little bit of a longer pair of shorts. I also have to say that the curvature of both seams here on the backside give a little more oomph to the booty. So I kind of might prefer the cycling shorts, this is my opinion. These are super light but almost like 99% squat proof on me, so hell yeah. I think ever so slightly, I think because they're longer, like I feel like a tad less compression in them. So yeah, totally yogi based, totally like training type of vibes. So yeah, whereas the tops I feel like I could totally size down in, I think the shorts so far have been really just perfectly sized, so true to size. Not too baggy, not too tight, they just fit like a glove. Okay guys, so first impression, these are the mesh leggings. So it is a good length on me. At first they looked a bit long, but these are the type of leggings where if you shimmy them up and just smooth them out, they work. That's It's that kind of material. Right off the bat, I could totally feel the seams here on this mesh that wraps around the leg. I didn't feel them on the shorts, but I do feel them on the leggings. So I can kind of feel like they're there. I definitely felt the seam under the bum just kind of like, do a little bit of this when I pulled it up. Like you can feel it right underneath your booty. I feel like these are definitely good for the gym when you're trying to train and you need a little more support. The mesh is definitely a bit more supportive in certain areas, so keep that in mind. There's no slipping, they're super stretchy just like the other ones. Like all the material is pretty much made out of the same thing. What I love about the Whitney is there's no slipping. So even when I'm squatting real low, we're doing jumps, nothing's actually making its way down. Okay, so we have the signature high-waisted leggings here and that peony pink. Yeah, guys, I'm really feeling no difference between the fit of these leggings and the mesh leggings. Overall, fits the same. I just don't feel, obviously, the mesh paneling or the seams because there are none. And I just really love the back here. These seams, the double V is just Glute Nation, especially with the subtle scrunch, like this combination is working for my behind. Yeah, guys, I'm feeling the same type of stretch, breathability, everything. The only difference with, for me, what I'm feeling is that's the seam. There's just no mesh paneling. If you love the Whitney V2 and you're just looking for this kind of similar spitting image design as last year, then I would just go with these high-waisted. If I had to choose between these leggings or the mesh, I would probably choose these. I like the simplicity. I like the overall feeling. Okay, so here's her baggy oversized t-shirt. Again, I got this as an extra small, and I'm really happy I did, because clearly it's still oversized. So this is the full length. It definitely covers the blue. Just like her tees last year, they are see-through. So definitely make sure you wear something underneath it. This is very, very much lightweight, very breathable. I think it would look really cute. As usual, you know how I like to do a little tucky-tucky action. 
So what do you guys think? Talk about maybe angle it down a bit. Give it some slouchy action. Yes, Claire. I think the back here is just so unique. I'm gonna say, I think Whitney finger painted this. Okay guys, so here are her joggers. These are in a small for me. I actually really like this baggy look. You can see where it gets a little more baggy right around here, but these are meant to kind of be rolled down like this, the band. These are actually textured inside, so almost like that beach towel-y feel. Okay, so it's not plush or anything like that. These are awesome for over a set, especially with winter coming up. Okay, you wanna wear shorts to the gym, but you don't wanna wear it out in the cold. Throw these over, head to the gym, and then take them off once you're done warming up. I could feel like a little bit of snugness right around here, and then super loose around here. I do have to make note that it doesn't have a ton of stretch. So like, it's not like the Pippa joggers or anything like that where it's like, whoa. These are have a very minimal type of of movement, but they're baggy enough to be super comfortable to move in. Okay, I'd probably give it a good 90% squat proof, 95 maybe. I wouldn't give it a full 100, but it's pretty dang squat proof for this light of a color. Okay, this is the full matching set, the crew cropped sweater. I wish I got this in every color. I regret not asking for that because this is so cute. Are you kidding me? I love how it's form fitted right here. You got that elastic band that matches right here. This is such a dope set. Her slogan right here is what kind of wins the day for me. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, definitely not like stretchy, nothing crazy there. It's not totally breathable either. It's just something I would more or less just chill in and relax and have a day for myself, damn it. They do have a slightly shorter feel to it. It's not something that's gonna cover and, and hang down. They have a really nice length to it, as you can see. Okay, so the robe, look at this. Ah, oh God. Wow, it comes pretty long on me, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, I'm short. Yeah, so it's the same exact texture, you guys, except this doesn't close or have any kind of like wrap around straight. It's just an open front, loose goose, casual type of style. This is the travel robe. And yeah, I would totally travel. I would travel in this whole set. Are you fucking kidding me? You know, like I can picture myself just like cuddling up on a plane if I ever traveled. Getting total Harry Potter vibes right here. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say right here, right now, that this is getting me stoked for fall time. I'd actually wear this pumpkin picking, okay? If I'm being honest with you, I would wear this out and about going grocery shopping. Tell me how cute this robe would look with jeans and those black boots that come up to about here in the fall time, okay? Strutting your stuff like that. This stays open, so you just, you just walk in like this. All right guys, so that concludes the Whitney V3 video. Oh my God. Third year in a row, she slayed the game yet again. I'm not surprised. My overall thoughts, like, I just feel like this collection is so good of a collection that it should be a full-time, round-the-clock, all-year-round type of vibe. We want restocks, we want Whitney all the time. Let's vote for that. Comment down below if you agree. I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you have any other questions, of course, you know how I do this whole week. Leading up to launch, I will be answering questions over direct message on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there. Um, I will be doing public stories answering your questions. If you want me to compare to anything else, other colors, just let me know. I got you. Keep tabs on my stories. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. A major thank you to you guys if you do shop this launch through my link. It helps support this channel more than you know. And Bay and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. We do a ton of Gymshark on this channel if you don't know already. I love you all so much, and I will catch you in my next video.